Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, for today's reading, we are going to be looking back at our Introducing North America text, and we are going to be collecting evidence for our writing that we're going to be doing tomorrow. So what our big essential question is that we've been working all these weeks to answer is what makes the world fascinating? So that's why we've been studying these seven continents and learning about things to do or places to see or the different kinds of animals um, that live on the different continents. What makes the world fascinating? So our question for this week is why might people want to visit North America? Why might people want to visit North America? So what we're going to do is this is going to be our question that we are answering with our writing tomorrow. But to make it easier to form our opinion, we are going to collect some evidence from our book today and put it into an evidence organizer. So at the top, I wrote evidence organizer, and then I have three categories or sections. I have things to do. I have natural features and I have animals. So those are my three categories. And as I read, we're going to add um, things into each of the categories so that we will be able to answer this question a little bit easier tomorrow. So why might people want to visit North America? Let's go look. So we're going to go, we're going to look in our table of contents to find which pages will be the best to read to collect the evidence. So the first thing is, ooh, let's definitely go to famous places. Page six, I bet that has some good information. So again, here's our heading, it says famous places. There are many amazing natural landmarks in North America. The Grand Canyon in, in Arizona in the United States is 277 miles long. Niagara Falls and Yellowstone National Park are also popular places to visit. So right there, we've learned of three different places you can visit um, that are pretty cool. So I just wrote Grand Canyon on mine, but if you want, you could also write Niagara Falls and Yellowstone National Park. So here I put under things to do, I wrote Grand Canyon because that is somewhere that you can go and visit. There are many famous buildings too. In Mexico, there are pyramids built about 500 years ago by people called the Aztecs. Modern buildings include the CN Tower in Toronto, Canada, and the Hoover Dam in the United States. So again, you could write all three of those because that's all things to do and places to visit. Or you could just maybe pick one that sounds the most interesting to you. So I wrote down pyramids on mine underneath things to do. So then we're going to go to the next page, which says geography. And this page has some information about the natural features that um, North America has. So remember, natural features are things that are like mountains or deserts or lakes, things that people did not create. So the largest mountain range in North America is the Rocky Mountains. So right away, boom, mountains. I'm going to write that under my second category, natural features. And remember, if I'm going too fast and you're trying to make this, you can pause the video so that you can make it. And you don't need to write the exact same things that I'm writing because you might um, be interested in something different than I am. All right, so the Rocky Mountains stretch of almost 3,100 miles from Mexico to Alaska. The Appalachian Mountains are on the east side of North America. So maybe you'll write that. There are deserts in the southwest of North America. They include the Mojave Desert in California and the Sonoran Desert in New Mexico. The Great Plains is a huge area of flat land in the center of North America. It is also called the prairie. All right, so I saw deserts and plains. Remember, this is an other kind of plane, not the airplane. This is the kind of plane that means flat land. So right here, I'm going to put deserts and I'm going to put plains because we learned about those natural features. There are five huge lakes 
along the border between the United States and Canada. They are called the Great Lakes. Lake Superior is one of the Great Lakes. It's the world's largest freshwater lake. And then on this page, we learn about the Missouri River and how that's the longest river in North America. So I'm going to add lakes and rivers to my um, organizer underneath natural features. All right. Now, we don't have a page or a section that says weather, so we're going to skip past the weather section of our book. That would be something useful if our question was asking us like what kind of weather is in North America, then we would definitely need to write this down. But our question is, why might people want to visit North America? So we don't need to talk about hurricanes um, or anything like that. Ooh, but our third section is animals because you might want to come and see these kinds of animals. So let's see. An amazing variety of animals live in North America. Polar bears live in the far north and grizzly bears live in the forests and mountains farther south. Bison live on the plains. They are also known as buffalo. So bears and bison, let's add those to our animals category. So that's our third section. Alligators live in lakes, rivers, and swamps in the southeast United States. Hundreds of different types of birds make their homes in the rainforest of Central America. Jaguars live in the rainforest too. So we could add jaguars, we could add alligators, um, anything that you hear in the text in the book, then you can write on your chart if it is interesting to you or if you think it might be interesting to somebody else. All right, so then we get to this section on plants. And you could write about cactuses and things to do because somebody might want to visit to see a cactus. You might put um, something about these giant redwood trees under the section in things to do. That is something that you could add to your evidence organizer. I'm going to turn now to sports and culture because I think that will give us a few more things to add. Baseball, basketball, and ice hockey are popular sports in the United States and Canada. Football began in the United States. The Super Bowl is the biggest game of the year. So I'm going to write football down under things to do because you might want to visit North America to see a football game or maybe even go to the Super Bowl. Hollywood is in Los Angeles, California. It is the center of the movie industry in the United States. Hundreds of movies are made there every year. Popular music in North America includes country music in the United States and reggae music in the islands of the Caribbean. So movies and music. You can add that on your evidence organizer as well. So now we have collected some evidence so tomorrow, our question is going to say, why might people want to visit North America? And you're going to pick maybe one, two, or three of the things that you've written down. And you're going to say people might visit North America because, and then you can give some reasons. That's going to be tomorrow. For today, just focus on creating this evidence organizer. If you want to just listen to me read the story, then you can go back to the videos earlier this week, part one and part two, um, to see if you can make your own evidence organizer, or you can use mine, whatever works for you. All right, guys, great job today. Happy learning, and I will see everybody back here tomorrow. Have a good one.